we're gonna solve a really shocking potato problem. In fact, this potato problem is so shocking, it's been dubbed the potato paradox. I'm here by the cage of an abandoned animal sanctuary in a swamp, but don't let that distract you from the task at hand. So here's the problem. We go out and we buy 100 pounds of potatoes, being the spud-loving buds that we are. At the time of purchase, 99% of these 100 pounds of potatoes is made up of water weight. We bring the potatoes home, let them sit out and dehydrate until only 98% of the total weight is water weight. The question is, after we go from 99% water weight to 98% water weight, how much is the new total weight of the potatoes? So once more, we buy 100 pounds. Originally, 99% of that is water weight. We let them dehydrate until only 98% of the total is water weight. What is that new total? I'm not going to give you a hint or say too much because I don't want to spoil it. So give this a try. Let me know your best guess in the comments. Grab a cup of coffee and let's solve the potato paradox. It's coffee time math with Wrath of Math. I actually only brought water out here, so that's going to have to do for me. I think what makes this a tricky problem is that it appears there's been only a 1% reduction in weight, right? We lost 1% of water weight, going from 99% to 98%. But you can't compare these percentages quite like that, because these are percentages of different totals. What we want to focus on to solve the problem is something that's remaining constant, which is the solid weight of the potatoes. We're not snacking on the potatoes while we wait for this time to pass. So the solid weight of the potatoes is constant. How much is that? Well, we know originally 99% of the 100 pounds was water weight, which means 1% or one pound was solid, hard potato spud weight. So we can write that here. One, I'll try to write a nice one, one pound. There was one pound of solid potato weight. Now, once we've lost some water so that only 98% of the total is water weight, like I said, we haven't lost any solid potato. So we still have one pound of solid potato. However, now, since 98% of the weight is water weight, 2% is solid. So this one pound of solid potato is now 2% of the total. So what is the new total amount of potato weight? Well, we just have to multiply both sides of this equation by 50. 50 times 2% is 100%, as in our new total weight. That's equal to one pound times 50, which is 50 pounds. And that's the solution, the shocking, wonderful, brilliant solution to the potato paradox. Even though it kind of looks like we've only lost 1% of water weight, the total weight has miraculously gone from 100 pounds all the way down to 50 pounds. Again, this makes a lot more sense when we focus on the constant solid weight, because originally the solid potato weight was only 1% of the total. But then, without its actual amount changing, it relatively became 2% of the total. So its proportion of the total doubled, which means the total must have been cut in half. And so now that makes perfect sense. And that's the solution and explanation of the potato paradox. Normally I dance to celebrate, but I don't want to dance on the graves of rehabilitated animals. So that's it. Consider supporting Wrath of Math on Patreon for exclusive content and to help fuel his addiction to making math videos.